Welcome to PowerSensor. Our team in Melbourne, Australia have created the easy solution to help you figure out how you can lower your energy bills. By choosing PowerSensor, you're joining households right around Australia who now have more clarity when it comes to their solar production and, as a result, are saving from several hundred to a thousand dollars annually on their energy bills. Your advanced solar monitors combine unique technology, a painted cloud-based algorithm allowing you to accurately monitor your solar generation and home and appliance energy consumption in real time, accessible from anywhere. Our customers love that they can access a complete view of their home's energy usage and solar generation all in one place. And that installation is safe and completely DIY. No need for an electrician or extra wiring. Now let's get you up and running. In this video, we'll go over the contents of your advanced solar monitor solution, how to safely and properly install your sensors, and what to expect during your install. Let's get started. Let's get familiar with your advanced solar monitor solution. When you open the packaging, you'll find one Wi-Fi plug, two wireless sensors along with silicon straps and adhesive interlocking fasteners to attach them, charging cables for your sensors, and a printed quick start guide for the devices to help you with your easy installation. In addition to the physical solution, you'll also need to have the PowerSensor app on your chosen Apple or Android device. The app will guide you through the install and setup process as well as allow you to view your home energy insights. Download the mobile and tablet compatible app free from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Once you've unpacked your solar monitors, charge your sensor in advance starting the install steps in the app. This normally takes about four hours. You'll know they're fully charged when all four LED lights are green. Before you start the install of your advanced solar monitors, check off the following. 1. Ensure your sensors are fully charged. 2. Familiarise yourself with your home's electrical setup. If you're not familiar with the electrical setup of your meter board or solar inverter, please search Meter Board Overview or Solar Inverter Overview in the Power Center Help Center. Meter boards and solar inverters are designed to be safe but may deteriorate over time. If you see anything that may be hazardous, like frayed or exposed wiring, don't mess with it and call a professional electrician as soon as possible. 3. Choose the appropriate time to complete the install. We recommend doing your install during the daytime and giving yourself approximately 10 to 20 minutes to complete the process. 4. Set your home Wi-Fi network to 2.5 GHz and have your password handy. 5. Read over the printed quick start guides provided in the packaging. You can also find these as PDFs in the PowerSensor Help Center. Our team has worked tirelessly to ensure the install process for your power sensor is easy and intuitive. No tools or access to exposed wires required, so you can skip the hassle of hiring a professional electrician. Remember that if you run into any problems during your installation, don't panic. Simply go online, search your query in the Power Sensor Help Center. We have tons of helpful articles and guides that will help you with troubleshooting any step in your journey. If you've ticked off the checklist above, you're ready to get started. These are the five steps of the install which we'll walk you through in detail next. These steps are 1. Create your account in the app 2. Install and activate the plug 3. Pair one sensor and install it on your meter board 4. Pair the second sensor and install on your solar inverter 5. Finalize your installation and check that your devices are working correctly. The first step of your power sensor install is creating your account in the app. Once you've downloaded the Power Sensor app to your preferred device and followed the prompts to create your account, carefully read over the safety instructions and then select the plug plus two sensors option. If you wish, you can download the app again on any other compatible device, log in and access your insights. You can also share access to your account. Search Share Account Access in the Power Sensor Help Center to learn how. Activating and installing your Power Sensor Wi-Fi plug is quick and easy. Insert your plug into the outlet of your choice where you can use a high load appliance frequently to ensure your power sensor continues to learn. When choosing the location of your plug, make sure the outlet is within 10 meters or one to two rooms distance of both your meter board and your solar inverter. You select an outlet that is used regularly and has a high load appliance such as your kettle, toaster, washing machine, or your refrigerator. In this instance, we will be using a kettle. Following the install steps in the app, it's time to activate your plug. During the plug activation stage, you'll be prompted to select your Wi-Fi network and enter your password. After the plug is connected to your Wi-Fi network and the top LED light turns solid green, you're all set. 
Your plug has been activated and is ready to pair with the sensors. Next, plug in a high load appliance to use once your installation is complete. Leave the appliance alone for the moment. We'll touch on it more in later steps. For step three, we move on to the sensors. There are two parts to this step, pairing the sensor and mounting the sensor on your meter board. Using the steps in the app as a guide, pair your first sensor to the plug by pressing the button on the top of the sensor momentarily to turn it on. You'll see the LED lights turn green in sequence indicating that the sensor is initializing, followed by the two outer yellow lights indicating that the sensor is ready to be paired. Bring the sensor close to the plug and the two inner lights will begin to flash. When the two outer lights on the sensor turn solid green, your sensor has been paired to the plug, connected to your Wi-Fi network, and successfully contacted the power sensor server. Well done, your first sensor has been paired and you're ready to attach it to your meter board. The sensor attached to your meter board tracks your home's energy consumption by monitoring how much energy you are taking from or exporting to the grid. If you have a simple meter board like this one with access to the main fuse supply, the best place to mount your sensor is as near as possible to the fuse. If the fuse isn't accessible, you can also mount your sensor directly below the meter. If your meter board looks very different from this one, visit the Power Sensor Help Center and search Types of Meter Boards to see examples of alternative meter installations. Once you've chosen where to install, and before you attach the sensor, move the sensor around to find the strongest AC signal. The signal strength is indicated by a larger number of green LED lights illuminated on the sensor. The more LED lights, the stronger the signal. Four is optimal, one is sufficient, and red means no signal. Once you have found the best location, attach your sensor to the meter board using the adhesive interlocking fasteners. Now you can finalize the setup in the Power Sensor app. After you've attached a sensor, it will check that it can communicate over Wi-Fi and is detecting an acceptable signal. Follow the prompts in the app and when you receive your three green ticks, your sensor has been installed successfully. For step four, we're going to pair the second sensor and install it on your solar inverter. Take the sensor to the location of your plug, following the pairing process as you did with the first sensor. Using the steps in the app as a guide, pair your second sensor to the plug. Start by pressing the button on top of the sensor momentarily to turn it on. You will see the LED lights turn green in sequence indicating that the sensor is initializing followed by the two outer yellow lights indicating that the sensor is ready to be paired. Bring the sensor close to the plug and the two inner lights will begin to flash. When the two outer lights on the sensor are solid green, your sensor has been paired to the plug, connected to your Wi-Fi network and successfully contacted the power sensor server. Once this sensor has been paired, it's time to install it on your solar inverter. This sensor will be used to monitor how much solar energy your system is producing. First, locate the AC cable on your inverter. Similar to the meter board install, take the sensor and use the LED lights as a guide to find the spot with the best AC signal. The more LED lights, the stronger the signal. Four is optimal, but one is sufficient. Now mount the sensor using the silicon strap before finalizing your setup. Now this sensor will perform a series of checks to ensure it can be communicated over Wi-Fi and detect an acceptable AC signal level, just like the first sensor. You have now installed both of your sensors successfully and are ready to complete your installation. After following the install instructions and hitting the complete install in the app, you will see the device's screen pop up. This is your first taste of the data you'll be able to uncover with Power Sensor, where you will see the usage and generation graphs, each corresponding to one of your sensors. Note that right now, immediately after the install process has been completed, your sensor data is yet to be calibrated and will indicate a relative scale only. Your energy data will appear once the sensors are calibrated. More on that in a moment. So how do you know your power sensor devices are working correctly? If your device's screen looks like this, well done. Your plug-in sensors are now going through the initial learning process. To check that your devices are communicating properly, turn on the appliance connected to your Wi-Fi plug and watch the device's screen. You should see a jump in the activity for both the plug and the house sensor at the same time. Great, your devices are communicating and learning properly. You can check your devices and now page for other overlay messages communicating with the state of your devices. Depending on the operation of your kit, different information overlays are shown. For example, if your device's screen displays the no data notification, this may mean that the plug has been installed too far from the sensors and is out of Bluetooth range. 
move the plug nearer to the sensors so that you can see live data updates in your app. Before you begin using your power sensor app to gather insights about your home energy consumption and solar generation, you need to sit tight for the calibration and initial learning process to complete. Power sensor is powered by a patented algorithm that is constantly learning. The starting point of any algorithm powered device is an initial learning spike. In your case, from the moment you complete the install and start using the appliance attached to your plug. From this moment, power sensor begins to match plug appliance data with raw sensor data, taking in as much information as possible to calibrate your sensors and determine your home's energy consumption and solar generation. This spike, known as the initial learning process, lasts for 48 hours and is an integral part of your power sensor setup. This is when the devices will achieve their first calibration and create your unique dashboard. So it's important to use the appliance you have attached to your plug as much as possible during this time, or at least once per day. Your energy readings may not be perfect right now, but don't worry, your power sensor devices will improve and give you real-time readings on your solar production and energy consumption throughout the day. Once this process is over, the devices will have calibrated to a sufficient level and you'll be able to view your data anywhere, anytime, and through a multitude of different views. After the initial learning spike is completed, your power sensor will continue to use the plug appliance data for ongoing learning, but not at the same rate of the big initial spike. Make sure you continue to use the appliance connected to the plug at least once per week so that you can get the most accurate information about your home energy usage and solar generation. For more information on using your power sensor, tips and troubleshooting, visit the Power Sensor Help Center, where you can browse articles and search specific questions based on real customer queries. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your new Power Sensor Advanced Solar Monitoring solution.